understanding the root zone in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase, root zone. This term may not be commonly used in everyday conversations, but it's a great example of how English can combine words to create new meanings. Let's dive into what root zone means and how you can use it in your English conversations. First, let's break down the phrase root zone. It consists of two words, root and zone. A root is the part of a plant that typically lies below the surface of the soil, and it's crucial for the plant's growth as it absorbs water and nutrients. The word zone refers to a specific area or region. So, when combined, root zone generally refers to the area around or near the roots of a plant. In English, phrases often have both literal and metaphorical meanings. The literal meaning of root zone is the physical area around a plant's roots. However, metaphorically, it can be used in various contexts. For example, in personal growth or business, talking about the root zone might refer to focusing on fundamental or foundational aspects. It emphasizes the importance of nurturing the roots or basics to ensure overall success or health. To better understand how to use root zone in conversation, let's look at some examples. One, in gardening, it's important to water the root zone of the tree, rather than just the surface. 2. In business, our startup is focusing on the root zone of our operation, which is customer satisfaction. 3. In personal development, meditation is like watering the root zone of your mind, nurturing inner peace and clarity. Other phrases related to root zone that you might hear include grassroots or root cause. While grassroots refers to the most basic level of an activity or organization, root cause is about finding the original reason behind a problem or situation. I hope this explanation clears up the meaning and usage of root zone in English. Remember, English is full of phrases that can have both literal and metaphorical meanings, making it a rich and interesting language to learn. Keep exploring and practicing, and you'll soon master these nuances. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.